Lord knows I'll carry because I'm legendary. All right, so guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about my thoughts on the six year anniversary since it's basically coming to an end. I've heard from some people um, that there's a part three and four, but they just don't get a banner. So um, I guess this is just the end for part one and two, and this is gonna be my thoughts on part one and two. And if there's a part three and four, I guess I will make another video on my thoughts on part three and four. So I think this anniversary easily is the best anniversary we've had um like in terms of everything even though these banners last for a week um you don't need to be too butthurt about aizen uh, if you didn't pull him because one you can pull him off of tickets now forever and two like they did last year they're probably just gonna push aizen out um like on basically every banner right if you guys do not know that when Biaki and Ichigo dropped from the fifth year anniversary after the, like the anniversary they pushed those two out like crazy they, those two been on like every banner. No, I'm exaggerating, but you know, a lot of people were able to get them throughout the year or within the year. And I think a lot of you guys are going to be able to get Aizen within the year too. Maybe a lot of you guys will fight five Aizen within the year. So there is that. Now, um, usually the anniversaries have horrible banners and it was surprising because Aizen actually had like the best banner in the game, most likely who was on his banner it was him. The fifth year anniversary Ichigo, uh, Ichigo, fifth year anniversary Ichigo and Byakuya. Keep in mind those two are like top tier units in the game. Um, actually the best of the typings. Byakuya the best blue, uh, Ichigo best red. Um, it had Soichi, top five mind easily. Um, who else? It had some pot units like Kisuke, uh, Rukia. It had Christmas Re Ruka, Fierce Battle Chad, Fierce Battle Uryu, and then it had um. White Ichigo on it, uh, Zongetsu, like the, not Zongetsu, yeah, it did have Zongetsu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, like, the banner itself was actually insanely good. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't anything horrible, but, um, you know, I think it was actually so good. Like, I I loved it, because of the characters I pulled off the banner too. Um, and then obviously, the banner being out for a week, a lot of people are butthurt, but like I said before, they're just gonna push off this Aizen. Um, and then for Jushiro's banner, like if we actually, we could pull it up here. Um, Jushiro's banner was like, it's not the best banner, but it's like definitely a banner I would say you could summon on or you, it's worth uh, summoning for. Cause the character, the features on this banner are not even bad too. What do you got? Bankai Shinji, uh, whenever it loads. Um, who was it? Bankai Shinji, Camp Fear and World, uh, Ken, Kenny, uh, Camp Fear and World now, Holly Bell, uh, Blue Kisuke, okay, it's not gonna look. We got Blue Kisuke, Holly Bell, Red Nell, um, Loopy, Loopy, yeah, Loopy, uh, Shinji, Grimjow, the purple Grimjow. Um, like it had like the better characters in the game too. Not all of them, but like some decent ones too. So um, it wasn't that bad. It had some no skin stuff like that. But um, Aizen's banner was definitely much better than this banner. Uh, but you know this anniversary definitely was the best I mean the anniversary brought what the best nad character in the game which is Jushiro the best SP character in the game which is Aizen the best brave battle character in the game which is Yamamoto right like they actually brought the best of the best <laughs> like I didn't think they were gonna bring the best character for all content not all content but I mean basically because Jushiro and Aizen I mean, they're cracked, and then obviously Yamamoto's cracked and brave bad. He legit is, I see videos of him soloing Jugram and Tsukishima, the two troublemakers. Now they're just baby food. Like, if I get this Yama, I don't need to summon for Tsukishima, and I'm never going to because there's, there's no point. There's actually no point if Yama just handles them all. And it doesn't even matter what characters they bring in the, the future, because again, Yamamoto has ignore invincibility and has invincibility. So if they do drop a better, you know, brave battle character, um, or another brave battle character that's kind of on par with Yama, it won't really matter, right? But um, yeah, I think this anniversary in terms of just the characters they brought and the banners, it was good. In terms of content, it wasn't too bad either because obviously we got the red moon source. I was kind of surprised. I expected it to be a purple moon source and I was actually hoping it was a purple moon source so I could fight by my Unahana after all this time, but I'm lucky. I mean, it was, it's not unlucky. It was a red moon source. I'm not going to use my red moon source though. I'm actually going to save it because um, if I get dupes of a character within the year, I'm just going to save it. Like, I don't think 
I'm going to use it, especially since red is a typing that I don't use a lot. I mean, I use Rukia all the time, but she's 3 out of 5. I thought she was 4 out of 5, but she's 3 out of 5. So if I do get myself a Mama Rukia in the future, then I'm definitely going to feed it in. But if not, I'm just going to keep it, you know? I'm going to feed it to someone who's already 4 or 5 or close to 4 or 5. So, um, or 5 out of 5, you know? So there's that. But yeah, content wasn't that bad. We have obviously um, the first points event with 5 million. Now I got 54 million and I could still farm this for six days, right? I could keep farming this stuff up, but I don't want to no more. Um, I got mad tickets from this. I think in, with 54 or 54 million points, I got like around 200 plus tickets. And I got a lot of new characters. I got a dupe of Soichi, a dupe of Mugetsu. I got blue Ikaku. I got um, like Ginzuru dupes. Like it was in crazy. And then obviously they gave out the choose a six star where you choose 10 six stars and then you get one of them. And the 10 free multi. So I think this anniversary, I mean, in terms of those, those are coming like basically every anniversary. But this anniversary was easily the best anniversary we've had. And now we have another points event. Well, this one doesn't contain another power uh moon source or not power but like just a moon source but um you know getting to two million you get another five star ticket so you, you also get another five star ticket here too um i was kind of hoping they did something for arena to get more people playing it like give out a six star ticket but they haven't really gave one out um, i'm not actually close to a six star ticket in arena i just got to play 25 times to like the blue attribute then i get enough uh coins to exchange for a six star ticket so i'm actually going to do that later on but um yeah, I think uh, in terms of content, even though this only had two legit two stages, it wasn't as bad because, I don't know, I was racking up a lot of tickets for me personally and um, a lot of materials too. So, like if I go to my inventory, because it was only mined, what, how much did I get for mine? It was only mined, right? I wish they had like all colors, so more, but uh, look, on mine, I have <laughs> 86. K small focus crystals, 18K medium crystals, 3K large crystals, 40K small crystals, 27K. I don't have 18K, yeah, 30. Like, I basically got, went crazy and got a lot of these. A lot of people have like 600K or even a million, but um, you know, this is decent enough for now, I guess. Here I like blew through all of these, but I, I still have 41K jewels and stuff like that because again, it was mine. And then look at my droplets. 3k 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 i mean again a lot of people are much much more than this but you know for me i was only like staying a low key around nine but now i gotta get my purple ones right but now it's like damn it's crazy you know like materials just through this anniversary i was able to i guess upgrade all the way up like i was able to get a lot of new characters that i didn't have like uh jushiro eyes and obviously i didn't have because they're new white ichigo i didn't have i got major I, the only pot unit i had before this anniversary was kenny now i have all of them but riruka or kokuto which is the power pot unit so whenever they come back and i decide to summon i'll go ahead and get them and then i'll have all the pot units right i got white ichigo off this uh fierce battle chad lisa um uh, Riruka, the Christmas one, Ikaku off this anniversary, uh, Mine Kisuke off this anniversary, you know, a lot of these characters off the, this anniversary, so I, this anniversary for me personally was like very, very god tier, because obviously I got a lot of orbs from new characters, and a lot of the new characters I did get were the better characters for the game and the content, so I'm definitely glad that, you know, they you know brought everything they had now if i had to say what i would have wanted more really from this anniversary it was probably just the points event the um eisen one right i wish instead of having only a mind stage they had all of them so you know i could farm not only me but everyone could farm different stages and get materials a lot of materials for different uh attributes and stuff like that but um it is what it is they, they did come with a power moon source so i'm not tripping over that too much because i can just save it for the future and see what the future has to hold for me um in terms of power units but uh yeah besides that this anniversary was nothing really too bad for me actually i actually enjoyed it a lot we had a lot of epic raids we now have the awakened jidambo so i gotta get to pack, get to farming for that and uh yeah you guys just let me know what you guys thought about this anniversary how you guys felt about this anniversary and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out later peace